Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Stalker Call of Pripyat. And the time is now to head over to that cooling tower and see what's going on there. Now, we were told that the anomaly that we're looking for can only be detected by a specific detector of their own design. But they didn't give me one, so I'm confused as to whether that's something I'm going to find there or what. Howdy. I'm listening. Howdy. Uh, last time we found one of the two artifacts we needed for you, but the other one is going to be a little bit more difficult. That was a very valuable one that we previously found on top of the anomaly, the tree branch one, in uh, Zatan. Now, Lieutenant Sokolov, it's been a little while since we talked to you, and we can say, I found your note at the Volkov AA complex. Take it. And you receive an army med kit. Oh, never mind. I don't think any of our people will show up at the location anyway. If you do spot any military around here, let me know, okay? Thanks in advance. Okay, well, I will. How do you what hold? do you want? Well, let's get over there, then. You hear me? Holster your now, oddly enough, uh, the PDA still lists the deadliest mutant I've killed as the Chimera. Which jives with my experience, but it doesn't really jive with the dialogue we've heard surrounding the different mutants. More mutant fight club going on over there, it seems. Dogs win this time, pigs lose. We're not too far away from the cooling tower. Actually, you're never as far away as you think from anything in this area. Find a way out! Help! We're running low on... Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first couple of times. But the anomaly that I'm supposed to be looking for can't be detected by my detector, so where do I get it? I might end up just having to Google this, because I'm definitely not leaving this for another part. And I won't have heard your advice for the previous one, because I'm recording this, like, two hours after. So apparently they'll sell me one if I max out my reputation with them. I don't know how to see that. I didn't see anything on the stats screen, so maybe it's hidden from me. I'm here to see you about participation in your research. Uh, let's ask for help taking measurements. Unfortunately, our research team is dead. And until we find a replacement, there's no chance of taking any measurements. Okay, well, that's where I could come in. I may be able to find a few good people to staff your new research group. Alright, I'll hire the right people. I guess I'll have to ask around to see about that. Aw oh, man, we're doing side quests on top of side quests now. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Well, it seems like the cooling tower will have to wait then. Actually, tell you what. And I promise I'm not going to do this very often. This is basically, like, only the first or second thing that I've looked up on the wiki this entire playthrough. I don't want to step out and sort of have meta reasons for doing things in this playthrough. I want to be kind of naturally led about. But there is another way to get a detector that is a little bit more natural than what I was planning. And enables me to do something I wanted to do anyway. If we complete three quests to find certain artifacts, we can actually get that detector. And you know what? We've already done two of them, and the third is back where we were going anyway. We go on another field trip to Zatan. Hey. Pilot, I require your services. And an omission recently occurred. Uh, which means we may be able to get out there and find some artifacts. Which, remember, my interest in those now is more about their effects than about the money I can get from them. I even have the achievement making me an official rich guy. I love how I come here to a door slamming in my face. That's alright, I'm moving out anyway. Now I have brought with me in my little Scooby-Doo backpack the bodysuit, uh, which will enable me to get maybe a little bit more protection from anomalies if we move into them. Now, we have to take a quest from Beard, that's what we need to do. Or, we could also go to the Burnt Farmstead and solve a long-standing loose end of not having found maybe even artifacts in there. But there is a stash as well. 
I've learned quite a bit about surviving anomalies since then. And I also have better, uh, better tools to survive with. But we do have to take a quest from Beard in order to get this achievement. And speaking of achievements, I also wonder... Nope. Nope. No time for you. Normally I'd go around these guys, but I don't even care to anymore. That's my level of confidence. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't know if we can actually lose achievements by taking certain actions, since they are states that affect us. For example, if I go below 100,000 rubles, does that mean we'll lose the perks associated with the wealthy stalker sheet? I mean, uh, achievement? Now, let's be careful here. Actually, probably put on this suit for thermal protection. Is it? Where could it be? I don't see it anywhere, and it is not easy to see with these effects on my screen. Maybe it's actually underneath. Or up there somewhere. Uh, now there is actually an artifact in here. Two artifacts. One close by. Yep, got... that looks like an eye. What about this stash? It seems like it's got to be up there somewhere, right? Maybe we can crawl through here? Ah, uh, yeah, there's like a little shed type thing behind. Ow. Maybe it's right here, or maybe we can climb on top. Yeah, it looks like we might have to try. This suit definitely makes a world of difference. I couldn't even, like, be in this area before. Right, you continue to burn yourself out. I'll just climb up here, slowly. Ah, there it is. It is on top. Well, that's gonna be a little bit annoying to get to, unless there's something I'm missing some other way to climb over here. Uh, up onto there. And here we can find a sniper rifle. Doesn't really super matter now, but this was way too dangerous for me before. Looks like we can make a beeline straight out through here. And find that artifact within these smoldering ruins here. There we are. Gotcha. And out easy easy this time. The suit really is amazing. Now what have we got? Eye, which does wound healing, as well as emit radiation. And Crystal, which gives thermal protection. Now, Beard, I imagine you can buy Beard these artifacts off me, right? Uh, although we do have to consider whether or not we actually just want to keep them. Uh, you'll give me quite a lot of rubles for it, but I'm going to hold on to all these things for now. I'm going to hold on to them because I may need their abilities in the future. Of course, I'm not selling jellyfish. I know you have a quest for me, but I'm not going to take it until morning. Let's get a little relaxation. It's been a long trip from Yanov. And we'll put away some of our spoils. Now this thing, the Vintar BC, takes a type of ammo we haven't really seen before. Actually, no, I think there's some in our stash at home, at Yanov. Oh, weird how I've started to see that as home. Drop oh. in if something interesting comes up. Skadovsk won't be going anywhere, that's for sure. Yeah, you've always been here every time I've come back. 
Got a job for me? I've got a little something. Last night, stalkers some saw some kind of weird glow at the dredge station. Too weird, even for these parts. Why don't you check it out? Sure. Now, I kind of expect the... Start talking, buddy. No, thanks. I kind of expect the quests around this area to be a bit easier than the ones we're encountering at Yanov. I don't know to what extent we're meant to complete an area and then move on, but I actually rushed straight through Zatan, so we've got a lot to do here still. And this episode is going to be dedicated to getting some of that away. Uh, dredge station. Where's the dredge station? Ah, here we go. Dredge station. Alright, so that's over this way. Can we place a custom marker? No, but we know it's to the east. Yeah, there's actually a lot of locations in Zatan we haven't been to before. We actually know Yanov at this point way better than here. Oops, gotta eat. We have so many medical supplies in the Skadovs. We have like 40 medkits in there or something. Yeah, but nevertheless, it does hurt me to not have the carrying capacity of my other armor. But when artifact hunting... When visiting potential anomalies, it's always good to have this. I just died, please. You guys have so much health. That's right. Defeated by a simple divider. Right this way, folks. Right this way, and then I just hop right over! Okay, this has gotten a little bit crazy for me. Maybe with any luck they'll kill each other. Uh, the pigs don't seem too interested in me. Just how I like it, I suppose. Uh, we're heading off towards the ranger station. We need to be going towards the dredge station. This area is very radioactive, but hopefully we'll be able to... This area is very radioactive, but hopefully we'll have those effects negated by the anti-radiation artifact. Why did my gun just switch when I went to aim down the sights? I need all of you to get straight out of my way. That's right. Jeez, what is going on here? This place is more infested than Yanov. We're at the ranger station. That means we need to head north more. Uh, you know what? This may this must be a radioactive fallout uh, rain. Because I'm picking it up just everywhere. Just that glow they must have been talking about. Must be some kind of artifact. Have we been there before? Well, as long as we're in this suit, I think we should be okay, right? The suit combined with the artifact should give us pretty much total protection. I'm seeing the radiation symbol appear and then disappear on my bottom right. Certainly some kind of gravitational anomaly, though. Uh, let's be very careful. I don't see any artifacts thus far. Can we climb up here? Seems like we'd be able to. Uh, I don't want to play that game. I don't want to gamble on that. Let's just walk around, do this the right way. The radiation is getting worse, but our protection is holding up. Oh man, imagine how useful something like this would be in real life. This is why I've decided to align myself more with freedom. eat again. My guy is very, very hungry, but the storm is getting worse and the level of radiation is getting worse as well. We do seem to be holding up, though. I thought I just saw some weird shadows in the flash.
Gravitational anomalies off to the side, but we're seemingly okay so long as we stay on the top of the barges. I am picking up an artifact. Right up there, that's gotta be the glow. And some loot, it looks like. Alright, let's get in there. Ooh, two artifacts, two artifacts. There's one over there. Hang on, wait. Uh, screw this for a second. Oh, I landed right in one. Yeah, we cannot traverse that way. Let's have ourselves a first aid snack. And get down into that water, however bad an idea that may be. Come on. There you are. Gotcha. Oh, you look like a nice one. Are you something we haven't seen before? Alright. This is going to be a navigation puzzle, is it? Looks like the doors are closed. But there's all different ways to walk around in the rust. Now, what did we get? Night Star. This glowing artifact can generate a local directed low gravity field. Widely used by stalkers along with Gravi, a similar artifact to increase maximum load emits radiation. Uh, useful, but not super for me with all our upgrades. Probably end up selling it. There is that other artifact inside, which is presumably the reason we're here. This isn't like the other artifacts. It's like, wait. Huh, it's like the wheel itself is turned into some kind of, like, worm or something. The way it moves looks almost biological. But that was the artifact we were looking for. Let's have a look at it. It only emits radiation. Altered wheel. This was once a dredge station wheel. It is now half converted into a strange artifact. No properties are notable other than the act of glowing and a little radioactivity. A little? I feel like I would be dead pretty quickly if I stuck that on my belt. Oh, let's see if we can't find a way out now. Brother, listen. There's this artifact. It's got healing powers. I need it real bad. A buddy of mine is about to buy the farm from this weird sickness. Our medicine can't do crap. I tried to grab that artifact, but stumbled into a gas anomaly. You haven't come across it, have you? I got one, but I need it for myself. Uh, my buddy, come on, he's dying for real. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I can't tell, but are you a bandit? And also, I mean, look, I need this for the thing that I need, for the anomaly detector. But also, I've been lied to by people before. And also, this thing, look, very notably did not have healing properties. Why would you tell me it has healing properties when it doesn't say it for me, when I can't take it for myself? Every other quest has been so open-ended where you could do pretty much anything with the things you find. This can heal you, but not me? Doesn't seem on brand for the game. Also, nobody knows what this artifact is! Just Take care. Just you keep walking. You'll remember this moment, that's for sure. Is that right? The artifact won't do you any good in the end. Take my word for it. Well, Tuna. That has me very, very suspicious. Stop right there! Closer to your weapon! Yeah, that's what I thought! Now! Ah, uh, very glad I chose that option. I think they just got me with a grenade, but it almost doesn't matter. Uh. You know, I was feeling a little bit guilty. Now I'm not. Come on out. Come on out so I can finish you. 
Uh, my naive self from part one would probably have given it to him, but now that I've learned a little more about artifacts and the way they work... Oh, it's you, just injured. I have no love for the likes of thieves. And I'll have you reimburse me for the bandage. Man, that first guy just got absolutely obliterated. That was not the ambush they were hoping for. Uh, I don't know if I can really get down there. Can I sell your guns? Nah, they're all in terrible shape anyway. You guys really are good for nothing. And what about you, Tuna? You got anything good for me? No, you don't. As useless in death as you were in life. Well, let's take our prize back to Beard. I love this weather. Walking back on such a thick, cloudy day that it looks dark, even in the morning. Some of you guys said that the mods kind of like ruin things because they do things that aren't lore friendly, or they do add the admittedly pretty annoying sound of the status. But I gotta say, I, I don't think I can live without them. Excuse me, dog attack, you're, you're interrupting my lovely monologue about the weather. I think you had another friend who ditched you. Weren't there three of them? Unless it died at some point during all that. And sooner or later, this save is just going to be absolutely clogged with persistent mutant corpses. And that one light on in the middle of a dark, rainy day? I don't know why. Something about that just gave me really pleasant uh, flashbacks to scouting. Maybe coming back to the cabin with the light on. Hello! Hey, bud. Uh, there was a strange artifact at the dredge station. Here you go. And we received 3,000 rubles. And you get stash coordinates. Alright, I'm also going to want to sell you the Night Star. 6,000 rubles. No use to me, really. I mean, some use, but not enough that it really makes a huge difference. Pop in if you'll find any artifacts. And I'm pretty sure we were supposed to get an achievement for that, were we not? But we didn't. No, okay, I've just looked it up again, and I was actually mistaken. That was only the second of three quests that require this. I had thought that one of them was the Oasis quest, because the one that we need to activate is called Anomalous Plant, but it's not. It's actually a different artifact entirely. All right, so we're definitely going to go back there and do that, but we're not going to leave just yet. We still have business in Zatan, and I think this is going to be a very Zatan-heavy episode. There's still plenty of quests to accept and plenty of artifacts to be found. Who could I hire to take measurements for the scientists? You know Gonta and his guys? Outside their hunting season, they... Ahem. Are happy to take on side jobs. Especially if there's no shooting involved. Their thinking is, if I feel like having my finger go numb on the trigger, I've always got hunting. Tell me about artifact orders. I have major customers outside the zone who regularly order specific artifacts, which must be delivered within a specific period of time. You bring me what I ask, and I pay you good money for it. Keep in mind that these orders are very important to me, which is why I try to commission several agents at a time. You get the full fee only if you deliver first. Okay, now this seems dangerous because you can't always decide what artifacts you're going to have and when. What artifacts do you need? Eye, Goldfish, and Snowflake. Well, I do have Eye. Alright, I'll get you an eye. See ya. Let's see how much more our rewards actually are. Let me just pull this out of my handy dandy this thing. Uh, Crystal is not one of the ones that you needed. 
I'd like to see any other stalker bring you one this quickly. The job is done. And we get 18,000 rubles for it. Oh, we just can't stop being rich. See ya. Uh, maybe before we leave, we'll see Nimble about some stuff, but then again, I feel like I already have such good gear. See, now the question is, where did Ganta go? He was here last, but maybe he normally lives at Yanov? I'll have to look around there. Uh, maybe he's just gone to sleep. Uh, probably not, it's early morning. I guess we'll ask Owl about quests then. So, you got anything new? Sure. Got a job for me? There's a small job with the scientists. That's one and two. I need someone to get information from the mercenary camp. Take your pick. Uh, I don't want to step on the scientists' toes at all. What about the mercenary camp? Some kind of mercenaries appear to the processing station, and I'm dying to know what they're cooking. Sneak into their camp and dig up whatever information you can about their plans. PDAs, paper documents. Bring me whatever you find, you got me? It's nothing but kid stuff if you keep it quiet. Okay. I'll do that. That must be the way station. That must be the way station that we observed early on. Okay, well, we'll try to keep it quiet, but as we all know, stealth is not actually very good in this game. Yeah, worst case, I just start shooting. Now let's talk to you. How? Hey, uh, want some booze? I got some booze, want a shot? Now remember, we gotta ply this guy Here's with alcohol. To a steady hand. We gotta ply this guy with alcohol in order to get better prices. Here's another bottle for you. Oh, wait. Too bad my buddies, Joker and Barge, aren't here. We were like brothers, always got each other's backs. How did it all come to this? I'm still here, but they've gone who knows where. Tell me about Joker and Barge. Yeah, I came to Zatan with two of my buddies, Barge and Joker. Young kids, full of piss and vinegar, itching to get their hands on mountains of artifacts, dying to be the first, the fastest. And I looked at those burning eyes and I said to myself, that ain't gonna do them no good. Loot's nice to have, sure, but it ain't worth charging headlong into a mutant's jaws. So what happened? Well, we were hanging out one night, drinking, and started arguing over what to do next. Should we go on or stay? And if we go, where to? Everyone's sticking to his guns, standing pat. Things got pretty heated, and when the argument was over, we all went our own way. Me included. I told them they ain't seen life yet. And some other unpleasant things. And if only I could see them again, I'd say I'm sorry for what I said then. We'd hang out together like before and remember the good old times. Well, I'll pass it on to your buddies if I run into them. Great. Uh, I don't expect any happy endings. But I could use some repairs. Uh, your rates are actually, even with the discounts, a lot more than Nitro. There's a lot of anomalies we haven't actually explored here. But right now, our job is to head over to the Waste Processing Station, which is where the bandits are camped out. I don't know why it's not showing me the, uh... I don't know why it's not showing me the camp information. The last quest wasn't marked on my map either. But I assume that's gotta be them. I know that the black suits... What? Oh no. I know now that the black suits are mercenaries, and ever since they tried to kill me at Jupiter, I've been dying to know what their deal is. Now, Owl wants the information on them, but actually, I kind of want to read that information myself before we give it up. I just realized I've heard that exact wind sound effect in so many Gary's mod maps. Hmm. 
Now remember, we want to be sneaky when approaching this place. And inspired by a certain mission in actually Ghost Recon Wildlands, I'm kind of thinking maybe we could use like tunnels or something underneath this place to sneak in. Because if those drains like run down here, maybe they also run under the plant itself. Ah, uh, these are stalkers. My friends now. Yo. Uh, let's trade. Got anything good for me? Uh, nothing I need, but they are willing to sell me medical supplies. Not that I really need them. Alright, well, goodbye. Quite a cozy little camp you've got set up here. Alright, let's make our way up. But be extremely wary. I do not expect stealth to serve me here. If everything you've told me about it is true. We'll want to have a weapon out from the get-go. Uh, because, as we know now, changing your weapons actually makes a lot of noise. Uh, this door is closed. It's not going to help us. Have I forgotten to... Yeah, I've forgotten to put that on my belt. Gotta make sure we do that. Now, the other question is, can they see my light if I turn it on? I uh, we'll want to scout this out before we go in. An anomaly. No artifacts. What I'm really scouting for now is a way underneath, and we may have found it. A whole lot of them here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably a lot more, too. Uh, they can see me. But if I crouch... There's got to be a better way to do this. There's got to be a better way to do this. There's got to be a better way to do this. Maybe if we go around that way? There is also this anomaly right here. With artifacts, but... I don't think we can get close. You know, whatever this is, it's down inside. I don't think we can safely get through there. Uh, then again, this doesn't look too bad. I see electrical down there, but this looks more like gravity. I'm also now realizing I don't really have enough ammo to fight these guys, if it comes to that. I'll have to switch to the shotgun, and then I'm not in a great situation at all. Just you guys, I'm being very quiet. Now, if we can enter the underside of this place from the outside, that would be the most useful, obviously. Uh, but we may not have an opportunity to do that. No, that's the edge of the map. Oh, look at these swarms of birds. I'd say it's like an omen of the apocalypse, but every day is like an omen these days. guys haven't spotted me from here yet. Maybe if I jump down really quickly, they won't. Run, 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 run. Who needs... Who needs stealth? Who needs stealth? Who needs stealth? Just made it. Okay, we'll want a quick save right here. They don't know I'm here yet. Uh, who am I? Sam Fisher? Sure feels like it. The problem is, I don't really know where I'm going, where they keep their information. That comes up outside, so it's probably not what I'm looking for. According to the PDA, there's a whole lot of them up there. Certainly more than I can kill with the meager amount of ammo I have on me. 
This area is blocked off. I can make noise, don't want to do that. I don't know if they'll be able to hear me through here. Rain coming down from above. Yeah, that's still inside. I mean, outside. The opposite of what I actually said. You yeah, know, words. Who cares what they mean? This one is inside. Now is where I will quick save again. Now, if I keep to the shadows, will that help me? Oh no, they just instantly know I'm here. Stalker! Off with you! But you still got legs! Oh, there you are. Okay, well, maybe we will just have to fight. Alright, so I've just gone ahead and reloaded straight away. Hi, maybe I can actually far cry it? Okay. No! God. <laughs> All right, these guys chose violence. Okay. Drop that retard. Nah. I don't feel like it. Is that all of you? Well, the first couple of you, anyway. I'm actually better off without the night vision indoors. Ow. Wow, you guys actually kill really quickly. Yeah, I don't know if stealth is really going to be an option here. Can't see where they are in my PDA. Can't go up. Can't go out. And I don't really know where I'm going to begin with. Maybe over there? I mean, they're always patrolling around. Now, there's some ammo. That'll help if it comes to that. But it's not what I'm looking for right now. All right, this time we've got to be more tactical. Okay. Drop that retard. The problem is, I don't actually know... Come on. Oh, you guys take, like, all my health at once. I'm not used to that. Uh, see, the problem is, they kill quickly, and there's not a lot of cover, and I don't see them often until it's too late. Do I have any AP ammo? I actually do. That's what I need, because these guys have that power armor and they pack a punch. The exoskeletons. I wonder if it's possible to get some for myself. Ow. You know, one bullet for a lot of my health. No. Gotta play this a lot smarter than I have been. Into this corner. But the problem is, there's always so many different directions they can come from. I think if we're going to do things this way, if this is how it's gonna be... Ah. If this is how it's going to be, then I should move off and pick them from a distance. You are very much done. I may not have a choice. I've learned to start pressing F1 and F2 simultaneously. Actually, I don't have all that many medkits on me. I mean, I still have more, but... And maybe things will be a little bit better now that we've evened the odds in our favor. I'm not one to start quick saving during a fight. That's my only thing. Help myself to that, but as long as there's more of them around, I don't really feel safe doing a whole lot of looting. We're just gonna have to finish John Wicking this place, I guess. And that is so lame that the stealth is so broken, but I don't know if it would have worked anyway, because I just didn't know where I was going. Alright, maybe this is the way to go? Shotgun was the way to go. They love to follow me around corners. I can hear you moving around! Oh wow, you're actually really smart. That was a pro gamer move. And so was that. Are you downed? 
Looks like you just got... <sighs> Come on, I had something for this. You're probably a leader, right? Yes, Hook. And we got PDA of Hook the Mercenary. The final incoming message reads, We're kicking heels by some old workshops, and I sent two boys ahead to scout the road for you. Then again, we'll wait here until the client's courier shows up. The air is a lot fresher here. Tessak. Some old workshops. Is there something like that in Satan? I think... Didn't we encounter something like that a couple episodes ago? I bet there's still a lot more information to find here, though. Here's Ridge. Incoming message reads, I managed to arrange something about the weapons, and that greedy guy is going to sell up his faction stock. It's going to be fairly cheap, but we'll have to go over to Jupiter. So there's a deal taking place there as well. Oh, and you've got a silenced little pistol. I'll take the silencer, at least. Yeah, well, I got their PDAs, but... What about the documents? Mission log says, Mercenary camp, take any information you can find. So there's gotta still be more, right? Oh, maybe over here? I don't think there's any chance that I could have gotten here stealthily. But that's all I need. Of course, before we take this back to Owl, I'm going to want to pursue these things myself. So apparently there's a deal going on at Jupiter. As well as something going on at the some kind of workshop? Didn't we see something like that around here last time we were here? Sawmill. Maybe that's it? Oh wait, substation workshops. That's right down the road. Okay, that's definitely where we're going to be heading first, then. Ah, oh, great. The mutants are already moving in. Seems to happen to any real estate that opens up. Something can see us. Something can see us. Potentially bloodsuckers. I'm more than a little bit nervous. But over here is the Circus Anomaly. Uh, I guess so named for the rings of fire that it forms. Let's see if we can't maybe go artifact hunting. I will have to avoid those. Assuming it's worth it. Yep. There we are. We need thermal protection! We need thermal protection for this. Uh, what am I thinking, trying to go after artifacts without the suit? I mean, I could have grabbed them. I can still grab them. And they might not be here when I come back. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Don't I have something that gives thermal protection? That doesn't really make any sense, but look. If I heal before going in... ...and bum rush like nobody's ever bum rushed before... Maybe there's something I can accomplish. What are you? Uh, the problem with this is that it's so hard to see. Ow. Oh, those artifacts got eye. Maybe Beard needs more of that. Oh, I am so dumb for coming in here. I am so dumb for coming in here. I am so dumb for coming in here. This would be so much easier with the suit. But there we are. Nothing ahead of us. Just got to make sure we don't path into one of the rings. And out we go. Uh, that was absolutely moronic of me. No preparation at all. I was just so worried. So worried that there would be, like, other stalkers here to pick it up. And maybe I'm correct in that assumption. But after we reach those workshops, we're going to have to come back. Have our suit repaired. Now we were told about some kind of mercenary activity taking place over here. At least presumably. I don't know if that information actually matters or if it doesn't... Okie dokie. 
Or if it... Hatchet. Yep. You're not welcome here. This is our camp, and you've got no business prowling around it. My boys are too starved and high-strung as it is. <laughs> Would you like to work for the scientists? I don't know if I trust these guys that much. I could bring you some food. Okay, huh. you do that. Canned meat, sausage, and bread. Six of each. Make sure to bring enough to go around, because we're super hungry. <laughs> well, good news, because... Hey, I just found a ton of it over at the way station. Here's the food. Wow, I had lost all hope. Thanks. This will make a nice lunch for the guys. Listen, if you wanted to check out the area, go ahead. Just quit waving that shooter around. See you next time! Huh. Perhaps you have more information for me. Perhaps it would be better to just waste you all. Then again, I still don't really understand the full nature of what you're doing here. Yeah, that's just me. I can't help but help. Owl would probably give good money for your PDA. But surely there's more to all this. Now here's the thing that I'm worried about. In a lot of these quests, I have sort of a choice in how I approach them. Which makes me a little bit nervous, because, you know, I've been talking about whether or not to 100% it. I'm definitely sort of more in favor of doing it now, and making this like a true long-haul series. But what if some of these quests are mutually exclusive? What if doing one means that I sever my chance at doing other quests in the future? If there's sort of a golden ending to go towards, then I've surely long ago missed it. Uh, there was an ar another artifact here last time, but I suspect that it's down in the Snork Den, and I don't really feel like going down there right now. Now, that artifact, it's in there somewhere. Definitely inside the cliff. Uh, you're hunting for it too, I see. Well, if I can't get it, you're not going to get it. Maybe it's up on top? Oh yeah, there's an idea. Maybe it's on top of this thing. Oh, I feel like a Skyrim horse. I always underestimate just the angles I can climb on top of. It's got to be here. No, it's in there. I'll have to run through quickly, or alternatively, make that much larger jump. Oop. Oh, just made it. Here we are. And it's another one of these. Well, I could sell it a jellyfish. I think Beard wanted one. Or I could have super crazy rad protection. You know, that's actually a really good point. If those things do indeed stack, I have three slots on the, uh, on the chem suit. So what I could do is hold on to it actually stack two of those things for four rad protection and be able to use an even wider range of artifacts or even multiple at once because I believe if we find the fine tools we can actually have a fourth slot. Actually there is another artifact that we hadn't seen before, a uh, fireball. Even though fireball is a thermal artifact it can be handled without fear of being burned. This artifact is valued for its ability to maintain a temperature of 75 degrees Fahrenheit within a small radius, virtually regardless of its surroundings, emits radiation. Interesting. Oh, this isn't the Skadovsk. Hey, Knuckles. <laughs> How you holding up? Oh, also, I didn't actually read the mercenary notebook. Remember, I want to get all this information for myself before I give anything up to Owl. Uh, this notebook contains one message marked as important among a heap of spam. Set up a camp near the waste processing station, and everyone who's going to be participating in this will join you. Don't expect Black, because he and his people will be at Jupiter on a different mission. The army has suspended all flights into the zone, so there won't be any trouble from that side. When stalkers find a way to Pripyat, we'll send a guide and wait for the client's people there. They'll show us where the lab is. Shackle. Oh, now it's all starting to make sense! Hmm. 
Well, their team is now significantly smaller and working with significantly less information. They're blind in that regard, and I have it all. Hello! Hey. What artifacts do you need? You need Gravy, Bubble, and Goldfish, none of which I have. I'm starting to think that uh, holding on to artifacts might actually be better, because I don't need the money immediately, and I can always check back with Beard to see if he'll give me like some crazy price in the worst case. Alright, I think you might be interested. What you got? Uh, we got some Mercenaries PDAs, all that stuff. You weren't actually giving me all that much for those other things. I think I'm going to hold on to the PDAs. Uh, and I'll give you the notebook from the mercenary camp at the waste processing station. 2,000. Uh... I don't know. That's not a lot. No thanks, I'll hold on to it for now. I, I know you sent me on the quest, but I'm starting to think that's why it wasn't that's on the map. Right. It's not a regular job. I have the choice of whether to give it up. And I think holding on to... Uh, does this weigh anything? It does. It actually weighs a lot, and I can't store it. Okay, I might have to sell it to you just to get rid of that, then. Okay, well, that's annoying. Unless I take it to Jupiter? Tell you what, I'm gonna hold on to it. Because all this is talking about them doing something big at Jupiter... And I think, I think it's just better to have this stuff on me. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of Black's PDA? Or actually, wait, did I? Yeah, I guess I did at some point. Uh, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of it for now, even if it is weighing me down, which is so annoying. You know, the crystal doesn't actually have any use for me, now that I have the thermal protection of... Uh, of Fireball, so I'll sell that at my earliest convenience. And I might as well have Eye on me for the wound healing, right? I mean, I might as well. So let's put that in there, and I'll take the other one so that we still have those rad reductions that aren't just cancelled out. Now, first things, we do have the location of another stash nearby. Uh, that one over there is just the one that was glitched and we couldn't get at the remnants. But we do have several anomalies to visit, uh, particularly gravitational anomalies, which I believe is where we'll find the last thing that uh, that our boy at the at the scientist's bunker needs. Let's also uh, switch back to our regular ammo. We do not need AP right now. Uh, we're going to have to climb this thing, aren't we? Also, is that... Is that an anomaly over here? One that's not marked on our map, or maybe... There's something underneath, yeah. Snorks, maybe? Oh no, I think these are actually the caves... Are we beneath the fueling station right now? No, we're not. This is something different. And there are artifacts here. Here be artifacts. And here be hostile... Hostile conditions, too. Alright, uh, that's a gravitational anomaly. But maybe if we're careful... There we are. Come on, gimme, 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 gimme! Ah, there we are. It's bouncing up and down a little bit. Oh, wow. How did I not know this was here? Uh, probably because it's underground. Oh, that is so cool! I love finding areas that are completely off the grid. Not mapped at all on the PDA. That was one of my criticisms early on, was that it just tells me where everything is, but... There really is cause to explore. Blow out, stay sheltered. Uh, yeah, my suit won't protect me from that. Nope. What if we go a different way? Or what if we just run through that and tank it? Nope. Run through, run through, run through, run through! And it's gone. Right here. 
There we are, got you. I think that's gonna be it. Oh, I'm not even looking anymore. Ow. Oh, and I don't remember the way out. Through here, perhaps? Unfortunately, we might end up staying down here for the time being. All right, let's retreat a little deeper inside and just wait this thing out. Uh, in the meantime, let's see what neat stuff we got. Uh, we got meat chunk, which we had before. It gives us better chemical protection, which I don't think we really need. Uh, we've got bubble. Uh, radiation minus four. We'll be keeping that for sure. A compound of several hollow organic formations, this artifact emits a gaseous substance that can neutralize radioactive particles inside the body without harming it. Because of its effectiveness, this artifact is in great demand. Okay, I'll keep that and one of these jellyfish. Are you getting close, Fire? Alright, now that seems to be over. This is super useful while, while I'm wearing the chem suit. So, basically, with the goldfish, uh, this result is result of an interaction between a large number of gravitational fields. Goldfish produces its own powerful, internally directed gravitational field, which renders items within its range almost weightless. This artifact is most effective for reducing carried weight, which explains why it's always in great demand. It emits a fair bit of radiation, but with our new artifact, we can still stand to carry it and even still have a little bit of radiation protection. Only problem is that we can't get our wound healing while it's on. Oh, look at that. All those birds died in the blowout and then immediately vanished, but don't worry about it. Now, we had to get on top of that pipeline, which is directly behind us in order to get at that stash, unless the stash is in the cave somewhere. Which I would hate to have be the case. But we made out like bandits today. Uh, let's not compare ourselves to bandits, actually. I hate those guys. Question is, how are we getting on here? No, it must be underneath, right? Because I don't see anything above. Or maybe even... Look, look how wide this thing is. Maybe we can even enter it and walk through it somewhere? Could that be a thing? Uh, let's follow it to the nearest end. It seems to dip underground here. That is such a stupid idea. There's no way they would have us crawl through here for all that distance, right? It's gotta be through here. It's gotta be. Uh, still more artifacts, but yeah, we can't get through there. Unless I do just bum rush it, but it's kind of a gamble on whether a gravitational anomaly will let you do that. Yep, that's no good. Oh, so many tunnels, so many artifacts still. Oh right, there was just a blowout, so we can actually... They may have even respawned. But uh, right now, I'm not here for artifacts, I'm here for stashes. Oh, this comes out over here. And at least there's multiple exits. Right here, and another one of you. Good, we can sell that. Or have two of you for extra rad protection! No, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Ugh. But I'm still so annoyed. Where is that stupid stash? I just keep coming out in the same place. It can't be a coincidence, right? It can't be a coincidence that it's right on this line. I mean, I am practically weightless right now. No, I'm not gonna make that. Uh, actually, did it! Uh, but I think I'm doing stupid science right here. I think I achieved something that has no reason to be achieved. Well, the pipeline ends up over here at the sawmill. 
Sawmill infested by zombies from the look of it. Anything of use here? I know there's more of you. Oh, potentially a lot more of you. I've got to give peace to this place. Who's out there? There you are. Oop. I hate using my good ammo on these guys, but it's always worth putting them down. But no way to enter the pipe, it looks like. It just ends right here in this building that we can't enter. Uh, but we can climb it. Uh, only to a certain extent. Now we could walk along the pipeline like this. But is that worth it? I don't think so. There's nothing on top of the pipe where the stash is. It's either in it or under it. At a certain point I am going to have to call it for this thing. Alright, I've kind of spent a little too much time on this, and I do want to go take the other quest in this episode. The one for the other artifact that the scientists need. So I'm just going to call it for now. Let's put on our helmet and our suit, and we'll head out. Taking some health kits with us, because we did use a fair few. Hey, stalker. Well... It's been a fun day back at Satan, and there's still plenty more I want to do here. But it's time to head back to Yanov, because I've kind of lost sight of why I came here. Oh, it's been such a wealth of artifacts, and I'm definitely bringing them all back with me. Oh wow, it's a real different feeling arriving here back at night. Howdy, folks. It feels weirdly quieter here than normal, doesn't it? Hello? Hey, <laughs> never mind. Uh, okay, let's trade. I just want to see, for curiosity's sake, what you'll give me for each of these new artifacts. 10,800 for Bubble, although I'm not looking to sell at this very moment. Uh, 3,600 for you. Yeah, we've got some, we've got some good prices to gain here. Obviously, I will want to save all this for when Beard is needed. Wherever I go, I think I'll take all the artifacts. But yeah, we've got some really good stuff going. Now, before I go to sleep, I'll point out that I think my default kit from now on, since I can always have at least two artifacts, is going to be the Lesser Radiation from Bubble and the Wound Healing from Eye. That way, I'll probably save on health kits, not that I really am at a loss for them. How are you? Ah, literally right outside the door. Uh, good thing I have my handy dandy wound healing artifact. Friggin' Yanov. I think there's another one out here. Jeez. Oh, thanks for the help, guys. Now you assembled a posse? Now, I don't actually know if wound healing actively heals me, or if it just maybe prevents bleeding. I'm not sure, but it can't hurt to have on us, right? Whatever it does. 
Anyway, let's go ahead to the scientist's bunker and see if we can't get that other quest. Hello. Hello. Do you need any artifacts found? No, sorry. We don't send random people on hunting assignments anymore. We signed a contract with an experienced artifact hunter, and whatever we may need, he gets it for us. Okay, so what do I need to take that quest? Is there any information on the scanners I placed in the anomalies? One by the parking lot, concrete bath. Okay, there is one in the bath again. Well, back to the wiki, I guess, for this one. I mean, some of these quest lines are proving to be a little bit confusing and unintuitive. Actually, I'll tell you what. Uh, look, I'm not going to be upset at having gone back to Zatan to do some extra quests, right? But I do know from the wiki that if we if we have better reputation with them, then they'll give me the, the artifact detector. So maybe if I place some more things in the anomalies, which I have to go do anyway to get Gary his, uh, his other artifact, maybe yes. that'll be worth it. You mentioned positioning scanners. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can place a few more scanners and anomalies if you want. Sure. All right, now I can get some more scanners from the technician, and I know just which ones I'm going to head to. All right. Uh, need the scanners, three of those. Great. And now we're going to head out and try to examine some gravitational anomalies, which is where Gary's will be. Man, I really wish I had kept that one from before. Now, first things first, I believe the quarry is a gravitational anomaly, so there might be a good place to start. Let's actually open up our PDA and mark it just to make sure it's not unavailable. Oh, it actually is. Uh, but I'm going to check it out anyway. Well, we have an artifact. Actually, this might not be gravitational. Or, no, I think it was. I think when I fell off earlier it was. There's a lot of chemical issues, but... Soul, which gives health restoration, which I guess is different from the damage reduction, right? Or wound healing? Hmm. I suppose I might as well stick that on. Or actually, no, I'd, I'd rather have the increased carry weight. But yeah, this place isn't really doing me a whole lot of good. There is a gravitational anomaly there, but there's no artifacts to it. It's a good thing we cleared out the bloodsuckers already. Although that doesn't mean there won't be some here. This is apparently an anomaly, but I don't see anything. Oh! Die, please. Oh, I hate this sway when I round a corner. Man. Will I get any wound healing ability out of this? Uh, let's see. Let's equip I and see what we get out of it. See how long it takes to heal me up. Oh, you two are still alive, are you? Not for long. Now, we can place this here. This is... maybe gravitational from the look of it? No. It's another one of the... whatever those things are. Grab you. Just gotta... Be careful. Oh, it's so cool how they move around beneath the surface. And grab you. Two of the same thing, I think. Yeah. Stone blood, which gives chemical protection. Nothing really particularly interesting. Yeah, this thing actually gives some really slow healing. Doesn't really seem all that useful. Unless it is just to stop bleeding. I think I misunderstood what it does, but it's actually better just to eat something to regain that health. 
Next up is the Ash Heap, which does indeed have another artifact. Uh, but this is a fire anomaly. And this doesn't really have anything that I'm looking for. In particular, man, with this suit I can practically walk right through anything it throws at me. Is that fireball? Yep. Things are- Oh! What just happened? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What is this? I gotta move, 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 I gotta move! What is happening to me? What was that? I hear footsteps. Ah, uh, so you guys are gonna start spawning now, eh? And I can watch as you begin feeding on my corpse. Now, I hadn't quick saved in a little while, but I won't be making that mistake again. We are now back to where we were. Only took a couple of minutes. But now we know that there's a controller about, and now I'm starting to see why they're so feared. I don't even know what I could have done about that. I mean, I am wearing my chem suit. It has almost perfect psi protection. Do I have an artifact that provides psi protection? No. But I'll certainly want one now. According to the PDA, the Chimera was more dangerous, but... The Chimera didn't completely prevent me from fighting back. center and place down the scanner. There we go. Hope we can take the heat and just run right on out. Now that thing, it's got to still be in the area, right? I'm pretty sure the spawns are actually persistent, aren't they? Are those zombies? They are. Indeed they are. Sometimes they don't even react to the things you do. Well, I'm kind of all out of time here. I guess we'll continue trying to pursue the scientist's quest line next. I kind of went way out of my way, but I'm not super upset about that. It's just that now we're two episodes delayed from heading off to Pripyat. Ah, now I know why they call it Call of Pripyat, because it's this one main objective that I've just felt a need to pursue this entire game. It's actually kind of like, uh, I guess I would compare it to New Vegas and Fallout New Vegas. This seeming treasure trove right at the end of the yellow brick road. Uh, but we'll see that maybe sometime in the next few parts because I'm now committed to spending as much time with this series as possible. I don't like hearing those footsteps, so I'm just going to get out of here. Uh, in the meantime, if you like this series, uh, please re remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Assuming that controller doesn't get me on the way back. <laughs>